guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my July haul. I took a trip a probably about the beginning of the month and I went to see a friend of mine and we got to hang out and I spent the night with her and around her there are a ton, 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 ton of bookstores and we got to go to a couple it was just a great, great time. And then a couple weeks later, I went to Baker Bookhouse in Michigan. They were having a tent sale, and of course, I could not pass it up. So I also went there, so I've gotten some amazing books this month. And then I found a bookstore near my house, and I might have gotten a couple books there too. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the books that I got in the month of July. The first books that I'm going to share with you are the books that I got at the bookstore that is near my house. And they had a pretty nice selection of Christian fiction, um, surprisingly, since it's not a Christian bookstore. But I only got a couple. I will probably go back and definitely keep an eye out and definitely check on it, since it was uh, reasonably priced and they had quite a collection. The first book that I got was The Lassoed by Marriage Romance Collection. And this has been on my Nook wish list for the longest time. Actually, I think I own it on ebook in ebook format. I got it for, I don't know, a couple cents. But I've been wanting it in paperback since I do prefer to have paperback. And I love these collections so, so much. So this was the first book that I got. The next one is Miriam by Misu Andrews. I, I was blessed to meet Misu a couple months back and I absolutely fell in love with her as a person. And I've read one of her books before and just absolutely loved it. So I was so, so excited to find this book for a couple dollars, since it definitely has been on my wish list for a while. And the last book that I got at this bookstore was, oh, I was so excited when I found it because it has been on my to-be-purchased pile for the, the longest time. I Love Amid the Ashes by Misu Andrews. I, no joke, read this book in ebook format in four hours. I loved it so, so much. I read it on a plane years ago, and I finally have it in paperback, and I am just top-notch excited, so I finally have it. This book I actually got from a giveaway um, a few months back. I work with Just Reads, and none of those books will be in this haul today. I decided to only do books that I purchased. But I wanted to include this book um, since technically I didn't get it for a tour or from an author. But I won a book a while back as a host and I just got it this month. Some things came up and she sent me Then There Was You by Kara Isaac. And I am so, so excited to finally have one of her books on my shelf. She has definitely been on my TBR for a while. And this book is set in Sydney, Australia, and the author is actually Australian, which I think is so, so cool. And I've definitely been trying to get out and be a little more diverse in what I read. And this is definitely going to be on my TBR for some time. I don't know. The next book that I'm going to show you, I actually got to hang out with my cousin a couple days ago. And we went to the mall that's by us, and we actually have a BAM, or for those who don't know what that stands for, that is Books A Million. And there's one in our mall, and there's normally not a whole, whole lot. There was quite a bit of Christian fiction there this time, and there's actually a book on sale that I've personally never seen there. But I also don't go a lot. But I only got it for a couple dollars, and I could not pass it up, and that was Ted Decker's AD33. And this is the hardcover one. And this is the first Ted Decker book that I have on my bookshelf. As you saw in last week's video, I talked about his daughter's books and how I said that I haven't read anything specifically by him because I don't have any of his books. But now I do, and I'm pretty sure this might be book two um, of a duology, which is AD30 and AD33. So I'll try to get my hands on AD30 at some point, but I could not pass up this book since it was on sale. Next, I'm going to show you the books that I got with my beautiful friend Becca. We went to quite a few bookstores and we found some amazing deals. So the first place that we went to was actually Barnes & Noble and I haven't been to Barnes & Noble in years. It's been a very long time since there isn't one near me. 
But the day that we went was actually right after the release of Nadine Brandis' new book, Fox, and I knew that I, when I went in there, that is what I wanted. I did end up walking out with Fox by Nadine Brandis, and this came out in early July, and I'm so, so, so excited to finally have a copy, and it is so beautiful, and yes, I'm very, very excited. So I did pay full price for this, which kind of broke my heart just a little bit because I am a bargain hunter in my bones, but... I love Nadine and I actually haven't read her other series but I'm following her on Instagram and she's just the absolute cutest thing. I'm subscribed to her on YouTube, I will link her channel in the description box because everybody should see it. She's such a cute little human and I definitely wanted to support her so I picked up Fox and I'm very very excited. And no, I do not regret spending the $15 on it. Plus, it was 20% off, so technically I got a deal. So it helps me sleep better at night, you know. The next place we went to after that was actually Goodwill. And there weren't a ton of books, but I did come out with quite a few goodies. So I talked about it on here before, and if you know me, you know that I love the Love Inspired Historical line. Sadly, they shut it down in June, but their books are still in circulation, and a lot of times you can find them at Goodwill. I actually was able to find four in pretty much brand new condition, which is kind of strange to find at a Goodwill since normally they're a little more beat up, but I don't mind with these books. That's a bunny trail that I traveled down and now I'm back. The first book that I got was Wagon Train Proposal by Renee Ryan. The next book I actually already have, but I've been telling myself over and over and over again if I ever find it in better condition, because mine is real beat up, that I would definitely get it again. And that is Family of Her Dreams by Kelly Gwynn. And I love Kelly so much. I actually have all of her other books in this series, in this little thing. I have them all. And this one's just in really bad condition on my shelf, so I got this one so that I could replace it so that they're all pretty sitting next to each other. The next book I got was Wagon Train Sweetheart by Lacey Williams. And then the last book that I got at Goodwill was A Family Found by Laura Abbott, I believe is how you say her last name. I've never heard of this author before, never seen this book before, but the dog was cute, the lady on the front was really pretty. The kids were adorable, so I figured we'll give it a go. It was only a couple cents, and they had quite a few other Love Inspired Historical books, but I either had them or I wasn't super interested in them. So I practiced some self-control, and I did not pick up every one that I found. But I did come away with four really, really great ones. The last bookstore that we went to that I actually came out with some stuff was actually like an independently owned bookstore not far from our house. It was called something or other I don't know but we came away with both of us came away with a couple books and great great prices so the first book that I got there was the Auschwitz escape I believe I'm probably saying that wrong and please forgive me if I am because I know that is like history but my pronunciation isn't always the greatest and this is by Joel C Rosenberg and this is a fiction take on the Nazi invasion and just being in the concentration camps and it's about a Jewish sympathizer and then a preacher I believe and just being in the concentration camps. The next is another book that I've been waiting to get in paperback. It was a little ridiculous but I finally got it and that was House by Frank Preddy and Ted Decker. Again, I've talked about this. This is probably the creepiest book that I've ever read in my entire life, but definitely one that I would read again. But I'm so excited to finally have this on my shelf because I've been wanting it in paperback so that I can reread it for so long. And I found it for a couple dollars and I was so excited. Next book that I got is actually called Isle of Swords. And this is by Wayne Thomas Batson. And just look at this cover. Can we talk about that for a minute? I mean, it is gorgeous. And like the paper, you're probably not gonna be able to see because my camera isn't the greatest at this stuff, but I'll probably post an Instagram picture about this at some point. But like the pages look like a pirate map, like they're brown, they're not white. And then the inside cover is a map. And then the, actually the front of the book looks like the cover too. It's just really, really cool. 
And ever since I read The Story Peddler by Lindsay Franklin a couple months ago, I have been obsessed with pirates. And there isn't a whole, a whole lot of pirate stories in Christian fiction. So when I found this, I was super, super excited. And I had to pick it up. Also, it's totally getting me prepared for Kara Swanson's book, Dust, which is a Peter Pan retelling. And there's going to be Captain Hook. And I'm just so ready. It's getting me prepared. The last book that I got from this bookstore was Counting with the Stars by Connellan Cassette. And this is book one in her Out from Egypt series. And I haven't read anything by Connellan yet. I know she has a series that is like working its way out at the moment. And I haven't read it. But I have seen this series multiple times. Jenna Van Maurick has talked about it multiple times. She's photographed it. And it is just go just. So I'm super, super excited to read it. And then the absolute last book that I got from this whole shindig of a weekend with my friend, she actually gave me a book from her collection because she's just the sweetest lady in the world and I absolutely love her. Not because she gives me books, but because she's great. Anyways, the book that she gave me was Jane of Austen by Hilary Manton Lodge. And I've heard some really good things about this book. And I'm excited to read it. It is a novel of sweet tea and sensibility. And the last couple books that I'm going to be talking about all came from Baker Bookhouse. And if you have not been to Baker Bookhouse yet, or at least once in your life, I highly suggest that you find a way to go. It is such an amazing experience. I went a couple months back to the book signing that they had, and that was the first time that I went, and I absolutely fell in love with the place. And when I found out that they were having a tent sale, I got my little fingers together and put them on my brain and I said who can go with me and the lady who actually took me down when I went to the book signing she went with me because I didn't want to go alone she actually decided hey that could be a great girls weekend trip so let's go so we drove down for the day and I actually was able to lasso my mom into the car and she went with us and we had an amazing time we were there for hours we left ridiculously early because it's a couple of hours away from us but we had so much fun and we got some amazing, amazing deals. Me, but my mom actually did buy me a couple books as well because she was just so sweet and I love her. So the first book that I bought with my own money, I am actually going to do it in a three set because it is a series. And I got the If I Run series by Terry Blackstock. I've heard nonstop amazing things about this series and about this author. And because I'm definitely trying to get out of my comfort zone, I decided I could not pass it up for them. So I was able to persuade my friend who went with me to get a, a set too. And she's actually finished the first book, which is If I Run. And she said it's so good and she cannot wait to start book two. She is just inhaling every book that I hand her and every book that she sees. And I'm just so happy and so proud. But this set is beautiful when it's together on the spine it makes a hand and when it's together laid out it actually makes a picture and that is just the coolest thing and I've just heard that it's like jaw dropping intense and I'm so excited. The next book that I got from Baker Bookhouse and actually the last book that I bought was from the tent sale and that was Shadow of the Storm by Connell and Cassette and this is out from Egypt book two and I found this for a dollar. Of course I was going to buy it. So this is book two in the series that I was able to get to book one early in the month and I was so so excited and this cover is beautiful and I actually saw the cover for book three while I was there and totally was drooling. It was beautiful and I can't wait to get that one and I can't wait to read the series because hello it's so gorgeous. Jenna you totally know what you're doing when you photograph those books let me tell you. Then the last two books that I got my mom actually bought for me and the first one was The Heart Between Us by Lindsay Harrell. And I actually started reading this in audiobook um, last month, I believe. And I just really found out I'm not a big audiobook person. It kind of weirds me out, and I read much faster than I listen. And my mom is definitely going to be reading this book as well because I definitely feel like it's going to be one that she'll love. And the last book that I'm going to be talking about, the last book that I got in the month of July that I've purchased. Well, actually, my mom got it for me, but you get the idea. That is Undeniably Yours by Becky Wade. And this is book one in the Porter Family series. And I'm so, so excited to finally have it because now I can start the series. And then now once I start it, then I can get book four and then I can finish it. And I'm so, 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 so excited. 
Oh man, I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, seeing what I bought in the month of July. And again, this was not at all close to all the books that I got in the month of July. I just figured I did a huge, ridiculous book haul a couple months ago. And I included books that I got from publishers and books that I got from Just Reads and like all these places. And if I ever go through a month where I don't buy a ton of books and those are the books that I get, I'll probably definitely include those in hauls. But I figured I bought so many books this month that it would probably overload you guys with a ridiculous amount of books. And plus, this month was a very long month. It did have 31 days. And I can't always keep track of which books I get when, especially if I'm getting them for tours, because I get them months in advance. So I can't always keep it together in this brain of mine. So today I only showed you what I bought or was given. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see the books that I get from publishers and publicity tours or if you would just like to see books that I purchase in the month. I would definitely love to know. It definitely helps me out and I'm sure it helps you guys out as well. I post reviews for quite a few of the books that I read, especially now that I'm trying to branch out and do more days. You'll probably see more reviews for more books that I have not gotten from publishers, but books off of my own shelves. So you might see a few reviews for a few of these books on my blog, and that is for the love of Christian fiction .com. And you most definitely will see these book books on my Instagram account, which is for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.